Time to return back to that godforsaken tower. Already making it far. At least the battles are not that annoying. Nice, we got a file of magic water. Some money. And now to deal with a stinking mimic. At least I'm doing a bit better this time. Yeah, he's gonna keep draining magic. Get wrecked, you stinking mimic. And we get a mini medal. Let's head back downstairs. <coughs> Jeez. Come on, really? Yeah, you don't want to fall and get hit by the spikes. Thank God that's done. I hated that mimic with a passion. Let's head through here. Nope, this is this we need a new plan. heal. So how do I do this? Yikes. Yikes is right. We're already now the floor seventh floor. Now 
Now we're gonna start dropping boulders. Nuts! Rock bomb! Another rock bomb! Now we gotta take this? That got rough. Yes, I'm skipping much of the fights. Another rock bomb. Oh no. Thankfully all the stones are intact. I gotta get those chests. Another mini medal. And another Egrisil leaf. Now with all those stones that we dropped down. Yeah, this is gonna suck. I'm already over an hour, or if you're watching this by this point, I've already edited out much of the fights. Thank God the bat the, the encounter rate is a bit tolerable. This is a bit much. Now I gotta move this all the way to the other side. Gotta move this all the way out. It's not gonna lie. 
Yeah, it can get a bit plotting. Good. Yeah, get wrecked. What a pain. Now we go around. Let's check what's in here. That way's blocked. There's the bridge switch. What's this? Connecting passageway, switch one. Yep, you need to connect both halves. Nice, another mini metal. Okay. Nice, a Camaro win. Mimics. Please don't let me die again. Not again. I hate having to use these, but I got no choice. Yeah, but was it worth it? It was not. Now take him down. Get wrecked, Mimic. You made me waste my t you made me waste my two Egrisol leaves. Wait a minute. Never mind. I hate dealing with mimics with a damn passion. I appear to have committed something of a blunder. It would seem that going into cahoots with monsters was perhaps the not wise, well, not the wisest of decisions. Oh dear, Gotha will be in a star state now. I do hope you will find me yourself to forgive me, your majesty. You don't deserve forgiveness, buddy. Well, guess I got no choice but to fight. Right? That's hard to do more than enough. You've done well to come this far, but you won't get any further with me in your way. There's snout you can do about it. You sure? An orc pawn. He has 800 HP.
nuts, he does a damage decrease! Yikes! This fight could go either way. All you have to do is just attack, and you're done. No! How could we be defeated by this? Gah! With you fallen, get everybody healed up. Now to face the other. <laughs> now there's a tasty looking worm. That female creature was here before looked nice and juicy, too. But Con Claimer before I had even one peck. I'll just have to make up for it by making a meal out of you, okay? <laughs> Let's go! The Chimera Pawn. And yes, he attacks twice, by the way. Ah, great, he has access to magic spells. I don't like him, he has like 800 HP. Gotta make sure everyone survives this. Of course you avoid it. Sheesh. And he mid heals, but that doesn't heal you much. Uh-oh, Saber's in trouble. Yes, keep healing, that's not gonna help you out. This fight could go either way. Bye bye. Okay, you have killed one bird with I don't know how many stones, but Kyle will make you pay for this. Just wait and see. <laughs> we know for a fact we're going to be in for a boss fight. So, I'll be right back. Oh yeah, I gotta leave this place. Nuts. I'll be back. When we return, we'll have a boss fight. Okay, I'm back. Had to do a little fast forward and all that. All right, no time for us to waste. We have a fight to win. Deborah! I knew you'd come and rescue me sooner or later, Abel. But you shouldn't now. You played right in their hands. That's why they used the Chancellor and kidnapped me. It was to lure you here. 
The ringleader is planning to kill you and then become king in your place. How dare he? Yeah, Deborah! <sighs> Enough horsing around! King of country must think for most of his peoples, not of his own selfish wishings. And yet you come here. For this alone you deserve to be put down. Ready? <laughs> now it is time for you both to saddle up for death. Boss time! We saw you kill Pancras. Now you're gonna pay. Everyone defend. Yeah, for the first eight turns, we can't harm him. This is the only way I'm gonna do this for now. And besides, he's gonna be using... Yeah, the first eight turns all about defending and survivability. We gotta make sure everyone's kept alive for the next eight turns. And by buffing up our party with our defenses, we should manage. The more we buff our stats, the better we survive. We got no choice. No, we gotta full heal it. Good. You gotta be kidding me. Nice, the bounce wore off. So while this happens, everyone else can attack. Win! <laughs> I'm indestructible! Nobody's able to hurt the great Knight Khan. Die, Abel, die! Abel! Deborah, you'll pay for this, Khan. What is this light? The barrier is broken down. Now, Abel, finish him off! Very well, if you insist. Now I'm done being nice. What to do? Well, all we can do is go on the attack. If you have, an, a, have a monster with oomph, that also works too.
You're not taking my team down that easily. Yeah, this took a lot of prep work. To be fair, I could have just ended it sooner and have it safe for something else, but no. Hopefully before I reach the end of the game, I'll make sure I take the time to grind and grind a lot. So I can have strong, a strong party. And I should mention that Khan has over 1200 HP and over 255 MP. So you better watch yourself. But he has a multitude of attacks that could actually be problematic. And it's always good having multiple healers. For stuff like that to happen. And bye-bye. Get wrecked, loser. This is not possible. The light before. No, it cannot be. This woman, this woman, she has blood from legendary hero. Laja, Laja. <laughs> Now what? Wow! So you are descendant of legendary hero. I... Uh, a descendant of a legendary hero? It is foretelling of the great Nimzo that descendant of legendary hero will be of the high status. Thus it has been policy that we snatch away all little children of importance. But it appears the child is not yet born. He will be born in future from your blood. This was destiny, but this destiny I cannot permission from happening. What is he doing? He turned on the stone! No, Abel and Deborah! <laughs> it is no amusement simply for to kill you. It is better fun to force that you slowly watch as world comes to an end. <laughs> You'll pay for this, Lacha! It's impossible to move. It's those two again. This is a right wild goose chase, sight. Eh? So much for there being some decent treasure here. Hey, look at them statues. They look ever so lifelike. You know what, bruv? I reckon we can sell these pair for a fair price. I reckon you're right. Nice one, Uxta. This lady wants a bit of a looker and all that. Eh? I'll be having this one. Come on, get moving. Wait for me, bruv. Yo, what the hell's going on? What? Don't tell me you still haven't managed to track down King Abel, you useless oafs. Sorry, your majesty. We have soldiers out scouring the kingdom as we speak, but... Even my blasted chancellor's gone missing. This really is most inconvenient. What's a fellow supposed to do, eh? I sure as Billy Bolly don't. 
Your Majesty, there's been a sighting of His Majesty, King Abel at North Minster, a church far to the north. What? Someone's actually spotted Abel at last, you mean? Yes, sir. Right ho! We'll send all the men north it is then! Turn the place upside down if necessary. Leave no stone unturned. Go, go, go! I just hope Abel and Deborah are alright. What is the matter? Barry and Matson, they are okay? I really don't know. They've never cried like this before. I hope it doesn't mean something's happened to King Abel or Queen Deborah. What rot! Keep such obscene gibberish to yourself! See, there is no need to worry. I know friend and Deborah. They know we'll be hurt. There's no need to cry, Perry. There's no need for your tears, Matchin. Your mother and papa, they'll be over soon. There, there, he's okay. And now, ladies and gents, the moment you've all been waiting for. Today's star of a show. Bring it over then, mush. Yes, bruv. What do you reckon of that, folks? I bet you have never seen a statue so lifelike, eh? You won't get another chance to get your mitts on something of this kind of quality. So let's hear it then. How about we start the old bidding at 10,000 gold coins? Do I hear 10,000? 12,000. Nice, that's 12,000. 12,000, start the ball rolling. Advances on 12. 15,000. Now we're talking 15,000. Any advances on 15,000, people? 16,000. Like it, 16 grand. Anyone reckon they can do better than that? Come on, folks, dig your hands down into your pockets. This is a once in a lifetime chance to get your mitts on such a puka looking statue. Oh, and I ain't mentioned how it brings good luck. Yeah, you best make your bid now, that's what you're after. 20,000. 20,000? Call blimey. Go and go and go it for 20,000 gold coins. Nice doing business with you, mate. Just hand over your ready to the fastles and geezer there. That's 20 grand you pay that then, me old friend. The statue's yours. They're being sold off because they're statues. Thanks for bidding, folks. You win some, you lose some, eh? That's Uxter and Aster done with the auction off for one day, anyhow. Hey, bruv, what about that other statue? Ain't you stunned that one at all? Nah, I got me own plans for that beauty. <laughs> Ta ta for now, then, folks. Till next time. Wait for me, bruv. Good day to you, Master. How jolly lovely to see you home. Mistress! Mistress, the Master's home! This is just sad. You may have beaten one of his enforcers, but now this happens. Welcome home, my dear. Look, little Georgie, father's home. What is that statue you have there, my dear? It's quite impressive, don't you think? I thought it might be a nice good luck charm to put in the garden to commemorate little Georgie's birth. All you ever think about is little Georgie. Where's my present, hmm? Oh dear, <laughs> something of an oversight there, I'm afraid. You must be exhausted, master. Why don't you come inside and have a nice cup of tea? You too, mistress. Hurry, my dear, come outside now. I say, whatever is all the fuss about? Look, look at little Georgie. Well, I never. Little Georgie started walking already. Well done, my boy. Come on, Georgie, keep it up. What a clever little boy he is. What's wrong, darling? You've gone quiet all of a sudden. 
Well, I'm only being silly, really. It's just one hears such terrifying rumors of late. I can only wish that little Georgie will be able to grow up in peace. Don't worry, my dear. We have that good luck statue you bought a year or so ago, after all. Nothing bad can happen to us. <laughs> of course, I'm sure you're right. Do be careful, Georgie. If you frolic about too much, you're bound to fall and hurt yourself. Whoopee! Woohoo! And then this happened. Georgie, come to Mummy. Hello? Who are you people? Georgie! <laughs> Is this the one? I don't know. Well, we can always use him as a slave if not. <laughs> True, the small humans listen to orders much more than the fully grown ones do. Please, no, don't take my boy! I say, whatever was all that hoo-ha about? It's Georgie! Monsters have taken our little Georgie Porgy! Good heavens! It's hard to believe a month has passed by. I wonder where our little Georgie is now. Good day, Mr. Porgy. Ah, uh, put it in your back. Any success at all? Any news of Georgie? I'm afraid not, Mr. Porgy. Not a thing. I see. Well, thank you for your efforts nonetheless. Pa! So much for you being a good luck charm, you worthless statue. Good luck indeed. Take that and that! Mr. Porgy, do try to calm down. Dear me, look at how you've worn yourself out. Why don't you go inside and rest a little? Very well. Then time passes on. Minutes turn to hours. Hours turn to days. Days turn to weeks. And then weeks turn to months. Then months turn to years. And so the days and years pass. Huh? I say, do you have some business here? Buenos dias, senor. We are traveling and we see your lovely mansion when we are passing. He's a beautiful stone statue of you, no? You know like it? Maybe I think you would like to sell it to earn the garbanzos, eh, senor? Pa, take it for free or all I care. Just get it out of my sight. Que? You are serious? Jole, muchas gracias. We take it away rapido. Now, imagine. It's time for you to do like I tell you before. Okay, Sancho. I just need to use the staff, right? Machen points Stolo's staff towards the heavens. A strange light engulfs the statue.
the statue of Abel springs back to life, and its staff vanishes without a sound. Huh? What the... Well, I never! That old statue came to let's come to life! It's you! It's really it's you, friend! Me Majesty King Abel! We are hunting for you everywhere! It's me, friend, your old Uncle Sancho, you know, recognize me? See, see, you never forget me, eh? Come, kids, this is your father. Wow, so you're our dad. We've been looking for you for ages and ages. Nice to meet you, Dad. I'm Natchin. You're the one who gave me my name, aren't you? Sancho's told us all about you, and about Mom. And about what a terrible state the world's in, too. Come on, Dad, next we have to find Mom, and we're all going to look for her together. Then we'll fight off all the baddies and save the world. Yay! Oh, guess what? You know the Zenithian sword you left behind? I can equip myself with it. Yeah, he's like they stampede from your mouth. You don't give your father a chance to say something back to you. Maybe it's better we return together, no? Then we're all talking together in the castle where he's safe. You will take us there, Machin. Got it. During the day, the news of King Abel's return spreads throughout Gotha. Overcome with joy, the citizens don't know whether to cry or to hug their treasured monarch. Long live King Abel. Celebrations in honor of the king's return continue longer than the night. Then the following morning. Good morning, your majesty. You slept like a log last night, didn't you? Your little ones and Mr. Sancho didn't know what to do with themselves. They're so happy. Oh yes, he asked, speaking of Mr. Sancho, he asked me to give you this. It's a pennant made by a famous golden jeweler for the wedding of your father, King Pancras, and your mother, Queen Mata. King Pancras has meant to put a picture of her in the locker, you see, but she was taken before he could have an artist paint a picture of her, so it's remained empty. All the empty all this time. Honestly, it's so sad it's enough to turn the taps on. I think Mr. Sancho's been terribly worried about whether he should give it to you or not. He said it thought it might make you leave to go off and search her or show it to you. And the poor man doesn't want to put you in a danger. I think he blamed himself for what happened to your father. So you be careful, your majesty. Don't do anything rash. Anyway, Pat, here's the locket. We obtained Madalena's locket. Go along now, his majesty. Prince Albert is waiting for you, you know. Okay, we'll be ending this soon. Dad, you're gonna look for Mom, right? And you're gonna beat up all the bad monsters trying to destroy the world on the way. Take us with you, Dad, please. Sancho told me all about it. When you were our age, you went traveling with Grandpa. So you can, can't say what you're not taking with us with you now. We'll be able to help you when you get in trouble. See, I knew he wouldn't say no, Perry. Come on. Okay. We now have Perry and Manta in our party. Pat. He is the son, and he can wield the Zenithian sword, whereas Machin is the daughter. Yeah, Perry looks like Gohan. They're both at level 5, which means we're going to have to grind. Ah, there you are, Abel. I say, you don't mean to say you've forgotten who I am, do you? It's me, Bertie, your old Uncle Albert. Well, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. You've spent the last eight years as a stone statue, a fossil before your time. Well, anyway, Abel, while we were looking for you, we stumbled across something rather incredible. We found your mother's birthplace. Pancras wasn't very popular there, apparently, but that's all in the past now. I should think the people there would be only too happy to help the son of one of their own. Right, here, I'll show you where it is. Right there is when Queen Mana was born. On the northeast side, huh? Okay. Be careful, won't you, Abel? Don't land yourself in a fix. Friend, I mean King Abel, Prince Albert, he ordered the castle soldiers to break for you the boy used to sail. And he is asking the monster Monio, Senor Monty, to come here to the castle. You fight him now in the pub. And you find Patty the party planner too. He's giving you the soldiers from the castle to join your party. I hope you will ask your Uncle Sancho to accompany you sometimes. See, I am all these days, but the young ones, they don't beat me. No, 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 Senor. I see. So they actually brought along Patty, huh? How nice. Well... Well, we cannot go wrong with that. 
yeah, we're wrapping this up because this part went way too long. I'm not gonna lie, it got too long and too nuts. And don't you fret, once we head outside, we set, we fix up our party and we're set. Yeah, Gudian is that useful, not gonna lie to you. And I'm gonna take the opportunity to grind up and get better gear. What a, what, what a ride this been! Yep. We're gonna wrap this up because this got way long. Yes, I had to cut a lot of the fights because I'm not gonna go through that trouble. So anyway, we're finished here. Next, when, when you next see me, I'll make sure to grind up the kids so they can be strong enough. I have to. So anyway, that is it for this part of Dragon Quest V. If you enjoy it, please be sure to hit the like button. It means a lot. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. I will see you then. Sorry it was long, but a lot happened, so I gotta make sure I get it all in. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out. The grinding begins.